Right, we're back in Dreamweaver. We're going to deal with multiple pages a nice, fast, quick, simple way. Here we go. Site, manage sites. Make sure you're on the correct site. If it's a new site, choose site, new site. As soon as you manage your site, so choose new site, the files that you have here, the assets, should be the correct files and assets for the actual work you have on screen. That'll stop things giving trouble later, okay? Um, what we need to do is, on our home page, we need to insert layout objects, APDIV, and the APDIV will act as a placeholder image. So, insert image, and the reason I'm doing that is so we don't get lost later, okay? So we've got a home image here, and this is gonna say the word home really big, okay? That way we won't forget where we are. Save that page. And you'll see we could easily get lost in a few minutes because we're going, you're gonna use this as a template for the other pages in just a moment. First thing I want you to do though is, I want you guys to get the links working. So on the word home, we click on the graphic here, link, we're gonna link that to index.html, where else? And look around typing, we're typing in the link palette, not in the script, not in the source, excuse me, above it. Same again on likes, click on the word likes there. Avoid the image source here, below it, links, we're gonna link that to likes.html. Um, get this right, do it once, type it correctly. I've done it for all of them already, okay? So you need to go through and do the same for dislikes then and now, all lowercase, nice simple characters, no asterisks or dashes or anything like that, please, okay? Because things could go wrong. Let's just save that page. Now, we're gonna use this page as a basic rudimentary template, okay? File, save as. File, save as that time. Did you see that? Not save as. Not save, just save as. Likes.html. We save this page as likes.html. Now we've got two pages that look the same. We've got index, which is the home page, and likes, which looks the same. Now, we're gonna make changes quickly so as we won't get lost. On the likes page, insert a new image in that box, and my one is gonna be uh, likes page image, okay? So in it goes, bam. So we know that this is the likes page now. So when we go between the pages, it's obvious one's a likes and one's a home page. Makes life a lot easier. We're gonna do the same with dislikes. So we're gonna save this page as dislikes.html, okay? All right, so now we've got three pages. Index, likes, and dislikes. On the dislikes page, you need to change the graphics so we don't get confused. Insert image. This is going to be dislikes page image. There it goes. And we've got a dislikes page image. Okay. And we might as well change the graphic here to make them grumpy so it suits the page. So dislikes page face. Okay. And in it goes. So we've got a dislikes page face and we've got a dislikes page graphic. Now let's save as. Once we save, I'm saving as I go all the time. Save as is to make a new document. Save as. This is now going to be called then.html. Okay, and then it's gonna have a different graphic in here. Insert image. We're gonna throw the the then page image so we don't get lost. Okay, and while we're at it, let's just change this graphic too for fun. Insert image, and we should think we have a then face in here somewhere. Okay, fantastic. We've got a then page. Great. And we'll do a now one as well. So file, just save as you go. I'm just hitting um, command S here all the, or um, yeah, command S here all the time. You can use the menu bar if you like. So now I'm going to save as, and I'm choosing this as uh, now.html. Okay, and we'll change this graphic here, insert image, and we're gonna choose um, now, and now page is for the graphic. And for our image, we've got an image as well. Insert image, and we're choosing now page face. It's a little bit more up to date looking. Okay, fantastic. Now, if I got that right, file preview in browser, Google Chrome. All our links should be working. Okay, I just have a broken image somewhere there. That's all good, it's good, it's working now. Okay, good. Be sure to hit the refresh button anytime you see a broken graphic and it'll probably work just fine. Okay, 